Hey YouTube, so as you can see, I've started taking down my hair. And I may be pulling an all-nighter because I need this to be taken out by the morning. Um, Y'all, my hair has grown so much. It's, it's crazy, y'all. I have a lot of hair. But anyway, I just wanted to show y'all what I do. When I have braids in that are not colored. So this color is very close to my color. These have been in for over two months. So what I do is I always cut below where I see my hair. You can also use your better judgment if you cut this piece. And your hair is usually going to line up in the same way. This right here is a rat tail comb, y'all. This is the true rat tail. Not the little brown one that is also called a rat tail comb, but this one is sharp, very sharp, and it's very helpful because what you can do is as you go up your braid, you hit it with the tail of that comb, and this is your best friend right here. When you get to the tip, this true rat tail comb fits right in the middle of the braid and it slides it right out. Now I want to show y'all how I get out my knots. What you have to do is hold your root to secure it so you don't pull it out. You take the tip of the comb and you're just going to comb. And it pushed it straight out. What you'll be left with is buildup and hair gel, grease, whatever they put on it when they were braiding. See my edges are still intact, baby. Baby Boo still got her edges. Yes, ma'am. I don't know, so I'm going to cut by right there. A good way to tell if you got your hair is you split that braid open after you cut. You don't see no, no real hair sticking through that. You know that you didn't cut your hair. Again, you take your t rat tail, go in the middle. And work your way up that braid. And it's effortless. What do you do? You get to switch it up, you know. S start it off with the rat tail and start using your fingers. You might get tired of the fingers when you get a tangle. This rat tail is your friend. When you get to the tip, it slide right off. If you get a tangle, pull, come right off. You just have to run your comb over it. And then kind of push. You can hold the root, make your way down. All you're doing is pushing that dirt clump off your hair. This is essential. If you have that much dirt piled up, you've had these braids in for two months, you might want to do that. If you have natural hair for legs, like I am, I'm kind of like a third natural, two-thirds relaxed. But anyway, my point is, you really need to do it. Because once you put that water on your hair, it's a wrap. It ain't going to be no detangling at the root. So if you do what you're supposed to do with each braid, you'll be fine. But you'll be mad at yourself, honey. It'll be hard to shampoo. And your head will hurt when you get it done. Getting that tangle out. And I'm just hitting the middle of that braid and pulling it down. And pulling it down. Disregard how I look, y'all. I look a mess. I'm tired. It's the middle of the night. Okay, see now? You see this clump? You see the clump on my hair? Take the comb. This usually wouldn't be broke. I just broke this today. It fell down. You just do this, glide over, and push. Now, when you get to the end, you see how it's there? Just kind of hold it and kind of push it gently. Gently. It comes straight out. And you just comb through it again. Make sure you don't have tangles. You can separate it. 